All right, Shalom, we the Hebrew Israelites who come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America. But first and foremost, we want to say, call Halagim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Harakai Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Yo, can you bring out that scripture? Uh, show. This is 2nd Ezra 5 and 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number. Yeah, those that dwell upon earth shall be taken in great number, man. Your friends, your buddies, the people that you're uh, drinking your champagne with, you know, having a good, uh, what is it, a brunch on Easter Sunday, which Easter goes back to Ishtar, which is nothing but the Queen of Heaven worship, man. You know, so many in great number shall be taken. You know, uh, can you give me a uh, real quick jump to uh, uh, the eighth chapter and start at the top? You know, because this is what this is all about. This is about judgment. That's why they call it Judgment Day, man. You know, and during Judgment Day, there's going to be uh, people that's going to uh, 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 die, and there's people that's going to have uh, everlasting life, man. You know, bring it up. This second Ezra 8 and 1. And he answered me, saying, The Most High hath made this world for many. Yeah, the Most High has made this world for many. There's over 7 billion people on the planet, man. You know? Keep going. But the world to come for few. Yeah, and everybody is hoping to be in the, the kingdom of heaven, man. But none of you are doing any of the things that will uh, grant you access to the king, uh, kingdom of heaven, man. You know? You commit adultery, you do drugs, you know? You, uh, 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 you do things that are not convenient. Keep going. I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou as when thou askest the earth, it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold, whereof there in no, no, no. Yeah, so give you much uh, dirt, man. It gives you much dirt. Keep going. Whereof earthen vessels are made. Yeah, where earthen vessels are made. And hey, same thing to the well, well, with these people, man. The most I have created many people to dwell upon the earth, man. Keep going. But little dust that gold cometh of, even so is the course of this present world. Yeah, the little dust that gold cometh from, because the most I is looking for the few good men, so to speak, man. He's only coming back for the elect, man. The, the 144,000 in the one-third, because there's 144,000 within the one-third, only of the nation of Israel, going back to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. No, keep going. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Yeah, that's right. There be many created, but few shall be saved, man. Now, you got everybody going around talking about, oh, they're already saved. They're saved already, but where are they saved from, man? You know? Because, hey, there's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. Can you, uh, someone get that? Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, the 7th verse. There's going to be a time of, of Jacob's trouble when they're going to declare martial law, when they're going to uh, enforce the mark of the beast, which the mark of the beast is on. You can call it the RFID or NFC market chip, man, which they're already chipping people, man to uh, uh, facilitate transactions in America. Or just like Three Square Market, and I believe it's in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, they're already chipping their employees, man. And various other locations around the world, man. Keep going. Bring it up. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse seven. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Hey, Salak, hey, can I say something real quick? Hey, you know what? It's funny because you know that we're near the end because you know what Esau likes to do? He likes to test it. Right? So with the microchip, you already done testing it on animals. We're growing up, you know, you've seen those videos when you see the cat, they microchip the cat with, uh, and they use radio frequency to make it docile, to make it uh, angry or pretty much a higher, more agitated. There's another, there's a good word for it I'm trying to find, but I can't find Aggressive. it. Aggressive. Aggressive. They also do it with colors, too. Kind of with colors, like red, red, red. That's pink, why blue. a lot of these uh, men are 
wearing pink nowadays, man. You know, because they got a, uh, they're uh, uh, being, uh, having a submissive spirit, so to speak, you know? Uh, uh, like a, a feminine spirit, you know, a weak spirit. Right. So we went through the animal testing, now we're in the human trials, right? Now they're actually chipping people. So what's next, what's next is that once they, once they feel like, all right, the microchip is solid enough, they're going to implement a mandatory microchip, which is going to come through martial law. The collapse of this uh, economy. This is Jeremiah chapter 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, it's even the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Because, hey, Jacob is living pretty comfortably right now, man. They can go get the McDonald's, they can go to the, whatever this restaurant is, have a drink, have a nice day outside, go to the movies and watch uh, Shazam, you know? Watch the uh, uh, NFL draft next week. They're, they're having a good time. They're in that party spirit, man. You know, but real soon it's gonna be nothing but hell out here, man. People gonna be. Hey, I was watching this uh, this this Netflix uh, series called Black Summer, man. It's kind of like The Walking Dead, but I, I like it better. People getting chased around. And matter of fact, there was a clip where this woman was getting chased by a guy with a knife, and she got stabbed 20 times, man. Also, that just showing you that we're at the Cubs of all hell breaking loose. You know, and just today there was an attack of Sri Lanka that uh, Dev told, uh, let me see, Dev told right now, it's probably like in the 200s, 300s. You know, uh, let me uh, bring it out real quick. This is uh, from CNN.com. It says Sri Lanka explosions kill more than 200. No, so there's going to be a lot more terrorist attacks, man. That's going to uh, even happen in America. You know? Go ahead. It's Second Ezra 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Okay, so can you start at the top? Done. Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Yeah, and that's what we're doing. We're saying things before it happens, man. Hey, hey, you know what? The, the Bible instructs us to be occupied in prophecy, man. Going back to the book of Sirach, you know? So we're speaking on to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, warning you as us being watchmen of the, uh, the trouble to come. You know, keep going. Which I will put in my mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Huh. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Yeah, we are, we're not fearing the imaginations against us, man. You know, because why? We have Yahweh by Shimmy outside uh, giving his angels charge over us, man. You know, because we fear him, man. That's why it says in the book of Psalms, uh, the angels encamp with the round about those that fear, fear him, man. You know, keep going. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Yeah, and a lot of you people have a lot of You don't believe in the scriptures. Just like this fat Mexican that come, came to the camp twice in Fresno, he says the Bible is nothing but a, a, a legend or a fairy tale. You pretty much make believe. You know, but it's really the, the scriptures is a history book. In a way, in a blueprint to conduct yourself on earth, man. No, but what does Esau do? He does whatever he wants. You know? He tries to make his own blueprint. That's why the, the planet is all jacked up and out of course. The people are, are mourning right now, man. The earth mourneth. You know? Keep going. Of them trouble thee, they speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, that's right, man. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Just because you go to these holy houses, these churches, which the most high dwell of nine temples built with hands, you know, that doesn't make uh, you on the, uh, the side of the most high's uh, good graces, man. You got to be out here on the highways and hedges, man, and believing on that name, man. You know, going back to the Ezekiel the 37th chapter, man. You know,
know, just because you know you're an Israelite or you know bits and pieces, you got to be that fully reanimated corpse, man. You know, you got to be fully uh, uh, alive, man. You got to be fully persuaded in your own mind. That too, man. You got you to gotta actually believe in this thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait, wait, hey, look, um, when it tells you that uh, you, can't, you can't come back, back in after you taste it of the heavenly gift, Six yeah, and right, right, yeah, around there in Hebrews, like the brother said, you can't come back in after you've tasted the heavenly gift, because the ultimate sin is what breaking the first commandment, right? Losing your faith and you how about some outside, right? And so, what it is is people people get rejected because of their unbelief, man. All right, it's not because you did this or you did that, because all sin can be forgiven. Now there are sins that you wanna, that you don't want to do, but when you just come into the truth and you think you, you don't believe in it, so you just do whatever you want to do while you're in the truth, you're going to get rejected. Man. All right? Because that ultimate sin, because faith is a commandment. Hey, Paul talks about faith being a commandment. So that ultimate sin is not believing. Right? Because you could have committed adultery and came into the truth and be forgiven for it. Man. Right? Because you believe that Yahweh Bashman is forgiven for it. But if you don't believe, you're fucked, man. You gotta believe in his majesty, his power, man. You know, cause what else is gonna save you, man? And just like, you might be in certain situations, you call on that name and you believe in that name, and then your situation turns around for the better, man. You know? You got more? Yeah, I got more. That's what this thing is all about. It's about having faith and belief. Because when, after Yahweh Shai risen from the dead, he came back and he talked to his apostles. One of, one of his disciples said, I will not believe that Yahweh Shai came back unless I can put my finger in his wounds. I have to see him for myself. And that's the way most, the majority of Jakes in this world, that's what, they, that's what they need. They need that confirmation to believe in the Lord. They say, say, I need him to come down himself and show me that he's real. But in the scriptures say, blessed are they which believe and have not seen. Alright? Because the majority of the time the outside of the disciples was always teaching them about lessons of faith. Like Peter walking on the cover and drawing me on the water. Yeah, yeah. And his faith wasn't built up. Exactly. So when you catch hell and you go through things on this side, man, that's what builds your faith too, man. And being around uh, the brother, the occupant. No. We'll bring that out. This is 2 Esdras 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world. Yeah, many great miseries, man, shall be done. I just read there was several explosions in Sri Lanka killing over 200 plus people on Easter Sunday, man. Because just like uh, that, 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 uh, that nut case, Alex Jones used to always talk about terrorist attacks being uh, committed in America, man. You can see a bomb going off right here, man. Blowing people up. Pipe bomb? Pipe bomb or whatever, man. Yeah, yeah. And then that's when people are going to be afraid. People are going to be nervous. And then it's going to cause the government to move to its feet, man, to do something. You know? Just like they're going to try to uh, demonize the, the men of the Lord, man. And then there's going to be a famine of the word, man. Because they have walked in great pride. Yeah, you walked in great pride, man. And who's the, the most prideful person on the planet is Esau, man. Someone give me a uh, St. John 8 and 44. You know? I'm going to get you something. Huh. And... The most powerful person on the planet right now is Esau, man. I got you. Bring it on. This is uh, Revelation 9 and 20. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, mm -hmm. that they should not worship devils, and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, 
which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Come, man. That's, that's what you saw, man. Yep. You know, but hey, two thirds of the people on this song follow right after him, man. Which that's what uh, St. John the Eighth uh, chapter goes into, man. You, you got it? Someone got it? I got it. You got it? Let's bring it out real quick. Just telling you about pride, man. Because, hey, if you can, can you give me a uh, uh, Proverbs uh, 16 and 18? This pride goes before destruction, man. These people are walking in great pride, man. No, that's pretty much what it is. But everybody remembers uh, September uh, uh, 11, 2001, right? No matter how old you were, you could hear a roach piss on cotton in that day. I was in the, uh, what, eight? Eighth or ninth grade, you know, everybody's all crying, everybody's all sad. They call their relatives in the, uh, the East Coast. Everybody was afraid. Just like in uh, what happened, to, uh, I believe it was last summer, they had the North Korean missile scare in Hawaii. People were throwing their children down manholes. But before then, they was walking with their nose up. Well, I'm in Hawaii, I got my little Hawaiian shirt on. I got a big booty woman, I got my little kids, I got money in the bank. And then they hear the, 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 the alarm go off, or the trumpet, you say, you know, North Korea impending missile, or uh, then all that pride went out the window, man. You got the scriptures? Yeah. This is John chapter 8 and verse 42. Yahweh Shai said unto them, If the Most High were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from Yahweh. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Yeah, so two thirds of you, Jakes, your father is Satan, man. The devil, man. Esau. Esau. No, you, you, you go by your heart's desires. You don't really, you don't really have love for the most high. And then you try to kill the men that do. You no? Know? All because of your incredulity. Your unbelief, man, because that's what it really boils down to. You really don't believe. You got tired. You got wearisome. You got weak, man. So, hey, just like uh, the scriptures do say, it says, then they begin to beat their fellow servants. You know? Because really, hey, you don't hate the men that is around you, or you don't hate a particular guy. You hate the Lord. You hate Yahweh Shai, man. Which, hey, the, the, the first two commandments is, the second commandment is love your brother as you will love yourself, man. Yeah, you say if you can't, if you can't love your brother as you have to, how are you going to love your house? Because imagine if your house shy was in the camp with you, and you were being a, you were being demon to another brother, but you didn't even realize that was the Lord right next to you the whole time. That's pretty much what that, what, what, what it is. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody you're supposed to treat them as if you were treat, treat the Lord. That's what the truth because we're one body. We're one body, and the whole body runs on a certain, a certain frequency, which is the spirit and power of the Alba Shemiah Shai. Now, there is a time where you do have to get on the brother, okay? But if you're just being a, a constant niggard with the brother, then you got demons on you, man. You and that brother need to figure it out, okay? Because once the Lord gets involved, he, he going to figure it out. And you don't want that to happen, man. Because when the Lord just comes down and makes moves, guys get kicked out the truth, man. Guys bug out. They get demons on them, you know. So, yeah, uh, the scripture does say that how can you love the Most High who you've never seen, but you hate your brother. And your brother fighting for salvation just like you. All right? Just like, just like your brother coming out here week in and week out to do the work. Okay? You got to show that brother love. Now, when he does go off, of course, you, you rebuke him, you get on him. You know, but if you sincerely in your heart like hate the brother that's with you, you're a demon, man. Okay? That's what's yours, man. 
Yeah. And also, when you're getting on a brother, there's a way to go about it. Because it does tell you in the scriptures to come at your brother in humbleness and meekness. Lest the Lord tempt you with the same shit. Because you might be a camp leader, you might be a camp head, but you still ain't shit, man. The only reason that you're in that position, because the Lord put you in that position, he can take you right the fuck out of it, dude. So you gotta you gotta be in order when you deal with the men that's under you. Alright? You don't you don't just come at him crazy. Alright? Unless that brother gets loaded up with you, you come at him calmly and he starts loking up on you, you can do what you gotta do to deal with that situation. But if that brother's humble and he's you know, if he keeps messing up, that doesn't mean you get on him harder. That means hey, you get two or three witnesses. You still don't want to listen, then you bring them to the church. There's a order to them. Alright? It doesn't mean that, oh, I'm in the higher position. That means, hey, fuck you, you're going to do what I want you to do. That's wicked, man. That's mistreatment. Yeah. That's the spirit that these, these, uh, these, these people in the world have, man. Yep. You know, just like uh, Dipsy Hustle, even though he was a Hamite, he uh, was trying to do good to a nigga. And what did that nigga do? Shoot him, what, six times in the chest? And then he said, uh, oh, man, you got me. You win. You no, know, that's what they said his final words was, and the nigga came back, shot him in the head, and then kicked him in the head, man. Jumped in the car and sped off, man. That's the spirit of these, these niggas in the world. It's two thirds, man. That's why they're gonna be judging this time, man. And the, the spirit of their father, the devil. Yep. Cain. Of the father. Yeah, it's Cain, man. You know, going back to Cain, the Cain slew his brother Abel. That's the same spirit that two thirds of our people are in, man. Uh, uh, somebody give me math uh, Contain in 34 You can start in 34 But the, the point is the, uh, the variance that the Most High is putting on these people man. Yeah because he, he said He said I come He said if you believe Moses You would have believed me That's right you come into that huh? yeah, got it. This is Matthew 12 and 34 Cause he's coming to bring a sword, man. You no, know, he's he's. Hey, when you go into uh, 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 Ezekiel, it says he's building an exceeding great army. When you go into uh, uh, the book of Amos, if I'm not mistaken, he's building up the tabernacle of David, man. An exceeding great army, man. You no, know, so he's he's coming to bring war. And you can't have people. Looking over their shoulder in this shoot, thinking that their their brother's gonna fry them, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what they're doing. The uh, the United States military, man. Some guy was telling me, you know, yeah, I went over there. I was over there. Some dude was getting picked on. He threw a grenade in his uh, superior's fucking tent, man. Back when they first went into uh, Iraq during uh, op uh, Iraqi Operation Freedom or whatever. But you can't have that in this army, man. This is a spiritual army, man. No, This is uh, Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I am come, I, it's like, I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Yeah, his man's foes should be there of his own household, man. That's why if you first come into the truth, and hey, man, you have that spirit to tell everybody, man. Tell your grandma, tell your mama, tell your father, your sister, your brother, your cousin, everybody, man. Yeah, you have a spirit to t tell everybody, man. It says your own foes should be there of your own household. But that's not talking about the spiritual body, the spiritual household, man. Because what did Yahweh Shai say? Who is my mother? Who is my father? Those that do the will of Yahweh, man. Not quoting verbatim, man. That's supposed to be your real blood, your real family, man. We're really not blood, but really your real family, man. You know? So you can't just like, that's the spirit of two thirds, man. That's why I'm going into it, not to talk about anybody in particular, but just the spirit that's in the world right now, and the reason why it's being uh, a, a great number of people are going to be taken from it, man. You got more? He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Yeah, man. If you have an inclination more to your parents on earth, 
then you do your how about shoot me outside, and you're not worthy of them, man. Now that doesn't mean to disrespect them or uh, or, or talk shit or put a curse on them or do this and that and the third. It just means simply you put the most high above everything else, man. You know, make an excuse. Oh, I can't do this or that. I could do it at this time, but I have to do this for your how about shoot me outside. Just like Yahweh Shah told his mother, I'll be about my father's business, man. You already know what time it is. You know? Keep going. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Yeah, look at, uh, was it, uh, was it Samuel that had the two wicked sons? Eli. Or Eli. Yeah, look at Eli and his two wicked sons, man. Most of them took them, took them out, man. All three of them. All three of them. And he might fall down, break his neck. Yup, yup. So it doesn't matter. Good, good, good. Oh, slug. Because uh, Eli was letting his sons do wickedness, mm -hmm. and and he's a man of the Lord, so he a prophet at that, or, or a priest. He had to have been uh, ex executing judgment. He didn't want to, so the Lord took all three of them away. Man. Yeah, man. Well, you got to keep that in the mind. Most I would take your children, man. It could be probably the, the, yeah, just like um, Eli. He wasn't ex he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. And then the most I touched his family, man. Touched what a lot of you Jakes love the most, man. Hey, the most I will get you where it hurts, man. You no, know, going. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Yeah, you gotta take up that cross, man. You gotta catch hell. You gotta go through the through the program, man. You gotta go through the straight gate, man. Hey, you know what? It tells you either love is not father or mother. Also, he says, uh, even if they did perish, right? He said, let the dead bury the dead, man. So the Most High is only looking for those soldiers that are in that exceeding great army that are of the house of David, man, of the tabernacle of David. Man. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Yeah, you got a lot of people trying to find their lives all of a sudden, man. You know, trying to build these multi-million or thousand companies or whatnot, man. Losing the 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 the, the, the ins well I don't want to say insight or losing the sight because you gotta keep your eyes single, man. But what it really matters, man. All these things in this world, it doesn't matter, man. Only thing that matters is your how about shooting me outside, man. Now you got men that will lose their life. You know, there's a lot of brothers that were in the NFL. A lot of brothers that were in the NBA, you know, they said the hell with that. Now they're on the highway's edge, man. And that's just an example. Keep going. He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward, and he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold.